New Year, everyone. Last night was literally insane. <laughs> it was just so freaking crazy. So many different things happened. I still had a blast though. I had so much fun. Pretty much stayed up all night. I think I slept one hour. Watched the first sunrise and then we had breakfast. Um, Layla left. She went home already. But once we got outside, the weather was so nice that I was like, no, I'm not going home. I look crusty. I feel crusty. But I was like, nope, it's New Year's Day. It's beautiful outside. I'm going to go enjoy it. So we're actually at Ueno Park right now. And they do have a shrine here. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to check it out. Plus, there's a really nice uh, restaurant here. It's the Parkside Cafe. So freaking good. So we're going to go get breakfast, walk around the shrine, walk around the park. Because Ueno's huge. It has like everything. It's pretty much going to be it for the New Year's. After that, I'm going to go home and literally jump on all this work. <laughs> this is my last free day. Right, I got the spaghetti bolognese, but it's different from the last time and their entire menu is completely different from last time. And it wasn't that long ago that we were here, so I guess it's just like somewhere that changes a lot. This time, the bolognese has a bunch of like garden vegetables in it. Also got the garden vegetable plate to share and what is that? Beef tendon stew Victoria. Like during New Year's, everyone comes to the shrine with their family and they pray and they get this thing called Omikuji. It's like a good luck or bad luck fortune paper. Like all of my Japanese friends like really believe in it and they like save it and put it in their wallet. If you get bad luck, they like tie it to like a little fence for like a retry at better luck. expected this was gonna happen it's literally so beautiful and it's not like a little bit of snow like it normally would be it's a lot of snow also this is kitty's first snow day oh she was looking out the window so surprised but i was so confused i'm like you've seen rain before isn't this like the same thing but like maybe rain is harder for them to see the snow caught her attention she was looking out of every window and meowing you obsessed she really wanted to go outside. I was really excited to like go downstairs and see what she would do. <laughs> she did it! She did it! Come on, Mama. Good girl. Let's go in the snow. What's this stuff? What is it? This makes my shoes look not so white. 
So I had to clean up some stuff in the yard because again, I was not expecting it to snow. So I let the cat outside. She was having a blast. No, you know what I'm talking about. Do you wanna build a snowman? Maybe if like you get all the snow from your yard, I get all the snow from my yard, we get like five more people. It's a lot, but it's not like, you know, Canada levels. It's a lot, it's a lot for Tokyo. I don't care, I'm excited. I'm from California. I'm from the hot places in California. I always have to say that because like Cali is everything. Yeah, we got snow, we got mountains, beaches, deserts, we got everything. I always feel so biased when I speak to Japanese people here about California. I'm like, it's actually the best state. But like, I'm not saying that because I'm from there. I'm just saying it because it's true. I mean, why else would literally everyone want to live there? I probably got like six dislikes right now and they all from Idaho. Off topic. Off topic. Not only am I in a good mood because it is snowing, but also the weather is like not ideal for going outside. So that means I can stay inside and work. I get so much work done when the weather is bad because I know I can't go outside. So I feel way more productive. Like, okay, the only option I have is to stay inside and work. Like when it's sunny, I get FOMO bad. Like I just want to go outside. I don't care what we do. Just roast me alive. I love the sun. Comment down below how you feel about the snow. Why do I always rhyme? Comment down below how you feel about the snow. Comment down below. Where are you from and are you feeling the snow or no? God! But yeah, I like really wanted to live in Alaska for some point in my life and New York. I don't think I would last. Like I'm dying right now. I'm in the house. A girl can dream. Anyways, I'm gonna sit here and get some work done for a little while. I don't even know what the plan is after that. I was gonna go out and go grocery shopping, but clearly that's not gonna happen. To work we go. That was weird. You could see me in there. <laughs> USA.com. I'll put the name on the screen and I'll also link them down below. But yeah, I do have anti blue light coating on them. They have like a lot of different options for customizing your glasses. You can also get their new transition lenses, prescription, UV protection, you name it. Also, I'm currently discussing the tags for my shop. This is like the little product tag that'll come on some of the items if you buy something from my shop. It's really hard to show up on camera, but yeah, there's like a ramen bowl the smaller one says mood global on it it's embossed so it's like i don't know indented material i don't know i thought it looked really luxurious and cool but now i'm wondering if i should change the letters to black i need to repaint my nails already it's kind of hard to see that's why i think it looks really cool and clean being just white but i'm like maybe i should do black because you really can't see it that well but yeah i'm like ordering new samples of that to see what it looked like it is still snowing outside <laughs> Oh, it's really coming down. I have always wanted to say that. I was just reading some of you guys' comments. After I upload a video, I usually like stick around for an hour to 30 minutes to read you guys' comments, comment back, but like the other night I was so tired, I went straight to sleep. I didn't get to like reading the comments, so I'm doing it now. Can I get a thumbs up for staying up until like 2 a.m. to upload these videos and talk to you guys? Like, if you guys appreciate the love, please tap the like button.
I upload on US time, like California time, because that's where I'm from. That's where most of my audience is. But yeah, I was just reading some of the comments and I was like, I need to address this whole thing that happened on New Year's. Everyone's like, you should have stuck up for yourself. No. Not this time. Like, you have to know when the fight is worth it or not and what is going to be the outcome. Yes, they are scammers and they're so wrong, but here's the thing people don't know. Japan is different. In order to qualify for permanent residency, you absolutely cannot have anything on your record. It don't matter if you got scammed. It don't matter if they punched you first. As a matter of fact, I saw a really good TikTok of this guy talking about Japan. They're like, if you ever get hit in Japan, don't hit back. And I'm like, that is so sad but it's true. And it's not just like the visa thing, it's Japan as a whole. Like they completely do not care about the context. They completely do not care about any of the reasons or excuses, phone companies, bills, all, just all of the systems in Japan. The only thing they care about is the outcome and what is the rule. You can go into a restaurant and be like, I'm allergic to cheese. Can you please just like leave off the cheese off of my burger? And they're like, no, that's just how it comes. That's how it comes. They freak out. Like the rule is the rule. What it is is what it is. They don't care about all that other fluff. So that being said, me like risking my visas just wasn't worth it for me. And on top of that, it was New Year's. Didn't really care about the little amount of money. I just wanted to have a good night. I didn't not stand up for us because I was afraid. It was more so because it's absolutely not worth it because I know what the outcome would be. Not to that extent. Getting kicked out of the country and losing my house, my job, my entire life. It, it, not worth it. If I was in America, I could fight back for my rights, you know, because I'm an American. But I am a visitor here in Japan. No fighting, whether it be for your rights. <laughs> I know a lot of people that come here and they complain about so many different systems in Japan, but I'm like, you chose to come here. That's how it is here. Accept it. Or you can try and fight it, but I, uh, what I will do is record the entire thing, tell people about it, also made a TikTok, put their name up, I wrote on a bunch of like message boards. I will expose this place and try and hope that it will get shut down or like people won't go there or people will know to avoid this place. Like I'm gonna do what I can do without risking my entire life. The other thing I need to address, the calendar is on October. It is January. <laughs> it just has the best photo. This is the Ponyo house. I actually haven't even checked the January. Okay. It's that train scene from Spirited Away. That's pretty too. But I just, I like the Ponyo. I think because it's green. So yeah, I'm not like secretly filming all of these videos in October and then uploading them in January. <laughs> I've been st oh god. god I almost said sitting at the standing desk again I've never had a standing desk so that's not really a sentence that comes out of my mouth like standing at the standing desk I keep saying sitting at the standing desk I'm not I'm not sitting but yeah I was doing like a lot of light work on the iPad so I was at the standing desk but yeah now I need to get into like the more difficult work so I'm gonna go in my office which is a giant mess Love you, <laughs> I need to get off TikTok. Guys, it is still snowing. The sweetest thing ever happened. One of my neighbors knocked on my door and brought over like some gift. I was like, what is this? She was like, it's a souvenir. We went skiing the other day. I was like, oh my god. By the way, they don't speak English, so I thought that was so kind. And like inside of the gift, they put like a little note with a cat on it. And they wrote it in English. I'm like, oh my god, how kind. The last time I gave them gifts, I tried my best to like write in Japanese. It was probably awful, but yeah. I think they're trying to like return the favor. I'm not a snacker and I don't even like caramel. I tried this. I kid you not, this is probably like top three best sweets I've ever had. Y'all gotta find this. It says it's from Guma. Smile Milk Products. I don't even know what Smile Milk is. Caramel Salted Crunch. Gosh, this was so good. I'm gonna open one of these so you guys can see. This went to like Nagano. Oh my god, it looks like this. So good. Oh my god, this needs to be a candy bar in America. Fire. 